Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're going to look very briefly at changing the default save file location for Microsoft Excel on a Mac. Now I have a video that you can reference up into the top right hand corner here for if you're on a PC. But the question has come up on a Mac because it's very different. Now I can't guarantee that this is going to work, but this is what I have researched and found out so far. I have a workbook here that has not yet been saved. You can see up here it hasn't been saved. I'm going to File and I'm going to Save. Now this is what happens when I go and try and save something on my computer. I'm defaulting to Dropbox because that's what I used last time. So that's this time to save it to Documents. I'm just going to call it Delete Me because it was only here to give an example here. This is on my local drive and so my Excel is defaulting to my local drive. I'm going to click Save. Now. If I close down Excel and reopen it and try and save a file, it's going to default to that same location because the way that Excel works generally is that it will save to the location that you used previously. But this comes with a couple of provisos. One of them is that you don't have autosave enabled because if you're using autosave, then you're going to be saving to the cloud. There's no choice there. There's also a preference for saving in Microsoft Excel. If you go to Excel and then Preferences and then go to the Save Options here, you'll see that Autosave is turned on by default. So if you're looking to only save data locally and you can live without Autosave, then I would be turning that off because that's going to give you the best chance of being able to save locally. Now there is an option on the file menus. Let's just choose File, Save As this time. So we get a new location. If we choose an online location and then go and locate a online location to use, for example, I'm using this work files location, there's an option to set it as a default save location. So if you want to specify a specific OneDrive folder, you can do that. But this option for set as default save location only operates when you're actually looking at OneDrive. So this is my OneDrive, not when you're looking at your own Mac. So if you go back to On My Mac, then you're going to be given an option on your Mac. And so if you save to this location and you have auto save turned off, then the chances are really good that next time you come to save something on your Mac, that your Mac is going to be the location that's preferred, not OneDrive. So it sort of needs a couple of things. There's an auto save option up here. There's an auto save on the Excel preferences in the save area here that you may want to look at and just make sure that you save to your local disk and if that was the last location that you save to, there's a really good chance that this is going to work for you and that's going to be the default location in future. So I hope that helps. It's not ideal. It is a bit of a workaround. It does involve some compromises, but hopefully it does explain a few of your options in terms of saving to your local disk rather than saving to the cloud. If you like carefully researched content like this, clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results every time, then you'll love my other YouTube videos. So give this video a thumbs up and click to subscribe to the channel. And on the screen now, you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you to watch next.